Welcome back, folks, to another episode of The Walking Dead. I'll stay quiet this time. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? Just music. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but... It should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. This indecision is killing me. Yes. Sure. I'll take care of it. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Any kind you want. But how? Well, that... I don't really know, but showing's better than telling. Come on, get a closer look. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth say. between colors for ages. I like purple. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. I'll hmm. make it happen. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting like... See you on the other side. Gonna That's get cool. through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. <laughs> oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Okay. First William. First William. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. Mm. We're gonna blow up the boat. No. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. You could kill us all. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. I don't like that idea. You I know. can kill everyone. Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, mm -hmm. Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Gonna blow up Actually, the ship. Ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. Absolutely, yeah, we absolutely Let's do it. have to name it. Oh, I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah, let's name this fucker. Let's 
You made it, so we'll name it after you. Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. It is. I used to hate my name. Not anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the world, W.J. <laughs> I found them. What are those? What are those? Okay, Clementine. These yeah, here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Wait, what? Okay. I don't get it. Me neither. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Oh, interesting. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Oh, God, no. Please. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. I'll suck at this. While otherwise a remarkable student, Blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. That's Willie. That's Willie. Uh, Ruby? You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased I the whole thing. I was Willie for a second. I wanted to the the have the option. This big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Oh. oh. Willie, Dude. I say <laughs> no. when I say nobody has ever, ever why? wanted to know that. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. What does that mean? Uh, don't know. No. Damn uh, it, ten. Anyway, maybe we no should. No wonder it's Willie. I got it. <laughs> well, all kind of different music. I think. <sighs> There's a lot of them. How many? No, it's all right. People seem to like this. Good enough for me. Let's okay. just move on then. Bopping our head. Bop, bop, bop. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. God damn. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Jesus, how many people lived here? How many of us died? Exactly. 34. Wow. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's I want. Uh, not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. Sure. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Those that were spoiled. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. Damn. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? Dude. So, 
I broke into my dad's credit card account and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. Jesus, you, This is wow. how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. Dude. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. But You're the psycho, fine, bro. I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know? Those two would have been happily married forever, but... Then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Hmm. Wow. I came here the week after. That's fucked up. Yeah. Was a... Okay, so that's pretty fucked up. I'm in complete and total agreement. They At said we were bad people, Glenn. It. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. Ten. Yo, this is freaking emotional right now. This is just really emotional right now. It is like, wow. This is for you, Minnie. This is for you, Telltale. heads and remember to tell who they were I think this is what I'm getting from it like I'll miss you telltale I'll miss you Jesus Christ man. Rest in peace, Telltale. Damn. I'm 
speechless right now. This game is freaking amazing. <sighs> no way. What? This is the back of the train. This is like the third episode. Uh episode when they had to shoot duck. Oh my god, long wrong head. No wrong head. Oh my god. Long road again. Oh my god. Dude. Hey. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Yeah, long road ahead. To shoot and to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. Ready for what was coming. Right. Oh my God. <sighs> you were a quick oh. study. Damn it, Lee. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Bro. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You certainly kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world, and you got stuck taking care of an eight year old girl. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. God, I, I, I can't speak right now to let this go through, man. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. Tell them about Lily, though. We're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. Tell them about Lily. Please. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did, but a lot of other people couldn't. I'm so happy right Never now. Give in, Holy William. shit! <sighs> Sweet. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out, and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know Out safe. Out and safe. Out, and safe. My friends are fighters. We can do this. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair, <laughs> I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. But you, you have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. 
You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but you'd be so proud. It takes to survive now. Oh God. He amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Where's Duck? Where's Kenny? Where's Katja? Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Think you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Dude, I got no words. Time to go, Clementine. Yeah. Time to go. You've got people that need you. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. that folks I'm cutting it here wow good job skybound I love you thank you for watching stay frosty on mental and watch for the next video